The Olympic work centers for journalists covering the Beijing Games are now officially open. Tony Perkins had a look for himself and tells us how information on the world's biggest sporting event will be sent around the globe. Hundreds attended the ceremonial opening of a set of buildings almost as important as any of the Olympic competition arenas. The main press center, located near the middle of the Olympic green, will serve as the central workplace for 5,600 accredited reporters and photographers covering the Beijing Games. We wish to thank Bokok because they have made great efforts to deliver excellent services for the press. It is from here that the story these stories of Beijing 2008 will be told. Stories also of how China and its people got to better known and understood through the spotlight is amazing event, Olympic Games will shine. None of the athletes, trainers or teams will perform here, but IOC officials regard the MPC as one of the key Olympic venues. It's designed to help journalists from around the world tell the dramatic stories that rise from every Olympic event. Five large halls will host news conferences. 30 elevators and escalators connect four separate floors of offices and workspace. Hundreds of workspaces will let reporters file their stories around the clock. Photographers can immediately transmit images of Olympic action to their home countries and provinces, and volunteers are ready to help make connections in a dozen different languages. In addition, as many as 12,000 radio and television journalists will produce their work out of the International Broadcast Center, or IBC, next door to the MPC. The NPC and IBC launch today feature multifunctional and comprehensive facilities. Services will be further tested by journalists. Media requests have been under careful consideration during the design, construction and operation of the centers. Bokog and IOC officials stressed during their remarks that with only one month to go, the opening of these two centers sends a clear message that the opening ceremonies are not that far away. The preparation work at the IBC is a lot more technical. Workers have already installed miles of wires and cables. Now the broadcasters are beginning to hook up their own equipment, computers, cameras and editing gear. Television coverage has grown to be a big part of the Olympics information scene. People in every participating country want to see the very latest about their own athletes and teams, no matter when they're playing. Bokog is providing high quality facilities for the media work. The two buildings on the Olympic Green are joined by the off-site Beijing International Media Center, or BIMC. It's the nerve center for 20,000 journalists who will arrive without official media accreditation. But Olympics organizers want all of the press accommodations to be more than simple workspaces. The media centers will serve as high-quality homes away from home for journalists who will work long hours delivering the human drama of the summer games. Tony Perkins, CCTV.